this is Heimin and welcome to another new video. Today it is the 1st of February 2022. So it is on Tuesday. January already ended yesterday and we are starting another month. There were some really grateful events that happened in my life for last January and I feel really really appreciative of it. As I'm living in the life of a freelance artist and doing a business, at age 26. Realistically, it is not a stable life and I've been going through a lot of hardships but I really love creating art, content, making things delightful and thinking about how I can make things better about marketing or business. When things is sorted out, it generally makes me happy. I know they will be always stressed about instability. Actually, some people on Instagram think me as a successful artist and ask me for promoting their pages since we made uh, more than 10,000 followers. So here's my honest answer. I still don't feel like I'm successful of running an art business but I definitely think I have achieved some parts that I've been hoping to have. It has been exactly three years since I started this YouTube channel and art business. I tried to do my best to understand our community and what they want to see from my branding and I tried to make realistic goals except for one time that is the moment I decided to sell animal pins. I still think that sounds ambitious because manufacturing animal pins is uh, quite pricey and at the time I thought that was impossible to manufacture animal pins continuously. That's why I started making art prints and art stickers from last year 2021. It is not budget friendly but I think definitely it is much more affordable to expand branding in a fast way as long as I make the stickers myself. I just wanted to say that increasing Instagram followers doesn't mean that my income suddenly grows. If it does, it'll be magical. So today, I already had a sketchbook time in the morning. Um, I actually had a very productive morning today and lately. Since I moved to Australia, I think completely I became a morning person. Even on weekends and holidays, I always find myself doing a lot of stuff in the early morning. So for this afternoon, I'm gonna do research and analyze my performance of last month. It is not really a creative thing and it may not be fun to watch but I always find it is very interesting to see my my past and how much I have been improved. So I opened the Excel spreadsheet that I've been using since last year, 2021. I've been tracked on my expense for my studio and income, also the number of followers on social media. As I said, I'm a small artist, which means there are not much work to do in this admin kind of admin stuff. However, I think tracking on how well I'm doing helps me stay motivated and think positively. For example, for the expense section, I made four different groups. They include the cost of supplies that I need firstly, and then the units. Following that, the next one is how much I actually should spend for each supplies. And lastly, my inventories. If there are some stock of supplies in my cabinet, I think I don't need to order unnecessary stuff to reduce the budget. I'm not planning on making new art prints or launching new products yet, so today I mainly focused on the change of income and the followers. The income is pretty irregular and it used to make me so unmotivated without knowing how well I was doing for the first year till the end of the 2020 or so I was very stressed about speaking English all the time and I used to feel like I was not doing well for communicating with people, especially when I got business contact from companies or inquiries from people, I used to be unsure how to respond or how to react. However, from starting of 2021, I slowly started getting 
more business inquiries, commission, and started making sales. So I was able to understand the tradition of this art community on social media because 2021 was my third year of doing an art business. I was able to understand and I was able to see how other artists were doing to grow their community to communicate with people and to increase their engagement also on the year of studying marketing helped me understand the audience since then i realized i should start tracking uh, where mostly income is coming from each month so every time whenever i got support i felt so grateful and super appreciated currently my income is mostly coming from sales, uh, making sales from my shop, commission, Redbubble, and YouTube, and also sometimes paid collaboration. Redbubble was the first platform that I used for selling art. At the start of being a freelance artist, I didn't have any budget to manufacture, and also I was afraid to spend money to manufacture art products because I didn't know where to start and what art style of mine was. I was very active on Redbubble till 2020 and I stopped uploading my art until I felt like it was affordable to buy a nice printer and printing supplies. Despite earning 20% of sales from Redbubble. I feel very fortunate that people are still clicking on my pages on Redbubble. After then, I was having an Etsy store for a year and a few months, I believe. And then I left Etsy to launch my own website to sell my art product. To keep tracking on the increase of followers and subscribers, I used to check on Social Blade, but I realized that checking on such a blade every time made me so stressful of seeing inaccurate updates and their predictions so instead of checking the website I decided to take a note in my Excel spreadsheet I'm wearing Dobi earrings and the Hannah necklace. These jewelry pieces were gifts from Ana Luisa, and this blouse is from a Korean shop from Korea. And this cardigan and the jeans are from Princess Highway, and these socks are from Cotton On. Let's go. Hi everyone, I'm walking to the bookshop now. I left home at exactly 9, so I think it is around 9.25. So our place at the bookshop, it is like 1 hour and 30 minutes walk. It is not too close, but Adelaide it is small, so I feel like I can walk anywhere as long as it is not too warm. Today it is actually not too warm. As you can see, the sky looks really gloomy and cloudy. So today it is like I finally got to the oasis in the middle of the summer. So I'm thinking of getting a fantasy novel called Lonely Castle in the Mirror if it is available. And also I'm thinking of getting a picture book for a reference.
set myself aside Be the way on this trial If you don't know the way We can stop and make a change I know we walk for days Losing hope, fading love This night will be okay Waking up to another Luckily, there was only one copy of Lonely Castle in the Mirror. Also, I feel really happy about the picture book that I got from the shop. The art style looks very similar to mine, and that was the main point that I prioritized. It is not like line art, but I still think that art style is still aligned to my art taste. I feel like whenever I stop and talk to the camera, every car wants to park next to me and I feel so embarrassed and shy very very shy I think it is the second time to get a picture book for myself um, the first one was uh, created by Farida Peach or Shan I got a copy of our picture books as a uh, fan support and this time I actually wanted to get some references of picture books for my future project I'm very excited to show you guys what picture book I got so I just got back home, it is around 12.30, I feel so starving but before I go to have a lunch, I want to introduce the books that I got. As you guys already know, successfully I got Lonely Castle in the Mirror by Mizuki Tsujimura. Obviously, I'm an Asian who is living in an English country which is Australia. I'm still an English learner and I'm struggling with so much, especially with magical words when I watch movies or read books. But this day, I feel like I'm getting used to see magical words and I have tried to read uh, English books or English translated books since 2020. And compared to the first year of my life in an English country, I feel like I'm reading books much faster. I have been reading the books mostly by Japanese authors, so Japanese books translated English. I've found that the words they used doesn't look too complicated to read and also they are much more understandable. The picture book that I got is Gustavo the Shy Ghost. It looks kind of like Mexican style or it reminds me of Coco. I really enjoyed the Coco very much and I'm hoping some movies with similar vibe like that come out in the future. So I really like the crayon texture or pencil drawing style of the art and I really like how they drew the small pieces in the background. Recently I finished a book called The Graveyard by Neil Gaiman and I really enjoyed the story in the graveyard and the adventure of a boy. So I think that's why I decided to get a book about a shy ghost. And the ghost looks so adorable. and I just showed very small pieces of each day so today it is Friday and I have read Lonely Castle in the Mirror like these pages so far I think for the past 7 
for six days. My partner is impressed at how fast I'm reading now compared to the past two years. I'm gonna continue reading sometime this afternoon or after dinner. Today morning, I made a really small animation. It's for like three seconds. I animated a kit sticker that I made almost a year ago. It was the very first sticker pick that I ever made in my life. And very recently, I got notified the sticker picks are low stock. It was the first notification of low stock since I launched my shop. So I kind of felt very excited. So in the three second animation, the cat is stretching and yawning. I actually post the video as a reel on Instagram and I added a text that says the cat is still waiting for adoption. I literally posted 20 minutes ago and I haven't checked how it is going now. It is 2.07 and I still haven't had lunch yet. Um, but before I leave, I'm gonna end this video here. I feel like this video is already too long. I hope you guys found this video was helpful, informative, and interesting. Thank you so much for having me today, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!